Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to access the advanced boot options on your Windows 7 computer. So even if you're unable to boot into the normal Windows operating system, as I'm showing here, this tutorial will apply for you guys. So basically, depending on your situation, you might be accessing these options a little bit differently, but the main idea and the concept is the same. And basically when your computer is restarting or booting into Windows, you want to tap the F8 key repeatedly on your keyboard. So let's say I restart the computer right now. And even if you're unable to boot into Windows, just turn on your computer. And as your computer, right after you push the power button to turn on your computer, you want to start tapping the after tapping F8 repeatedly, you should see an advanced boot options screen here. And we're going to briefly run through some of the most popular options you'll probably be doing on here. The first one would be to repair your computer, and this will actually give you access to system recovery tools that you can run through the operating system and you don't actually need an external media in order to access these. Now keep in mind if you have any system images saved on CDs or DVDs, you can still run them and recover from them through this menu through the repair your computer option. You can also access the common safe mode, safe mode with networking, which basically means you'll have internet connection, or hopefully you will, when you go underneath this option. And you can also load safe mode with the ability to run command line windows. And one of the last more popular options here would be your disable driver signature enforcement if it was enabled. And you also have the ability just to boot into Windows normally. So we're assuming most of you guys probably are not able to boot into Windows normally. So probably the four options at the top are going to be the most common ones that you guys would select. And to select the option, all you would do is just hit the Enter key on your keyboard. And that would boot that respective option and load it on your computer. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.